Hey everyone, welcome back to the Splice tutorial series. In this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to play with time, how to slow your videos down, speed them up, how to use speed ramping, when to use speed ramping, how to reverse your videos, and a couple other things. So we'll hop right into the app and I'll show you guys how to do that. So we're in my timeline here in the Splice app and we've got this video of me skateboarding, doing a little kickflip out here, shot on iPhone. So I wanna slow down this kickflip at the end here. And what we're gonna do is select the clip and then in the bottom bar here, we're gonna select speed. Now, if you want to slow down your entire clip, simply just drag this blue slider down to the speed that you want it at and the whole clip will be slowed down from start to finish, the entire clip will be slow motion. But for this video, I wanna show you guys how to speed ramp. So I'm gonna put it back to full speed and click on the right here, speed effects. Click that and now we'll be able to add keyframes. So scrolling along, I want my slow motion to begin right about here, let's say, right before I do the kickflip. So I will stop here and I'm gonna add a speed point right there. And I'm gonna select ease in on the right there, make sure that's selected, as that will ramp the footage and slow it down, not just instantly, but over time. And now I can, with this keyframe selected, slow down to about 0.4%. I think that will look good. And I can press play to see how that looks. That looks perfect. And then I want the video to speed up again right when I land. So I'm gonna add a speed point here and then I'm gonna use the blue slider at the bottom and speed it all back up to normal speed 0.1 or 1.0 times right there. And now we should have a pretty good speed ramp. Let's check it out. Perfect. And as you can see for the second keyframe here, I am also gonna make sure that I have the ease in feature left on. And let's add another speed ramp here when I do this, this Nolly 180. We'll just put another keyframe there, slow it all down to 0.4, and we'll add another keyframe when I land right about here, boom. And we'll speed it up to full speed. And if you ever wanna move these keyframes around, you don't like exactly where they are, simply hold down on them and you can move using your finger and readjust them as you need. So let's take a look at this clip with the new speed ramp being put in. That looks perfect. So now in a new timeline, I'm gonna show you guys how to reverse your clip. This is kind of a silly little thing we did where we all jumped into the pool backwards and even got our friend to walk backwards in the background. And we wanna reverse this clip and basically do the Avengers challenge where it looks like everybody's flying out of the pool. You know, kind of a bit of a joke, but we will take a look at how to do that. So we're gonna select the clip and scroll along the bottom here and you'll see a button that says reverse. Simply click that button and there you go, your footage will be reversed and it's almost looking good. I'm going to also change the speed slightly, speed it up a little bit, maybe to 1.3 or so. And now we have all of us coming out of the pool like that, looking like superheroes. And once we add some sound effects, I can show you guys what this will look like. So that's what this video looks like once we add all the sound effects and music. Make sure to check out the Splice sound effects tutorial if you're interested in that. That's it for this tutorial on playing with time in the Splice app. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Please let us know below if you did and any questions that you might have also. Thank you so much for your time and I'll see you guys in the next video.